So, Peter, we have a question, and it's about a uh, very personal <laughs> issue here, masturbation. And mm -hmm. uh, so you're a pastor, and uh, you have done a lot of writing, you do research, and, and uh, you study psychology and relationships. And so I'm pitching this question to you because it's coming from a woman who's kind of concerned about her husband and like, is that okay for him to be doing a masturbation? Like, shouldn't we just be having sex? What's your perspective on all that? Well, you know, I, I think if it's coming from the question of the spouse, I, you know, there, guys will approach uh, masturbation or some call it self-sex for different reasons. And uh, I think, I think, uh, for, for her and her husband to have an honest conversation about maybe what's going on there. I think a lot of times guys turn to masturbation because um, there's actually intimacy issues with their, their spouse. Maybe there's a conversation about sex that needs to be had where it's not working anymore. And so sometimes people will turn to self-sex because it's easier than having the awkward conversations of real intimacy. And then on top of that, I think a lot of guys, they, they do get addicted to pornography and, and that increases discontentment in their real intimacy, and which is why a lot of times um, guys that start moving towards self-sex tend to have that maybe way more than they have real sex, which can actually be a barrier to real intimacy. And, and so in some ways, it's a, it's a conversation that needs to be had in that marriage. I think that's always a wise thing. It can be a difficult conversation because it feels so private and personal to talk about that even with your spouse sometimes. But um, what about turning to self-sex because he's traveling for business or whatever and he says, well, I'm just thinking of my wife when I do that. Uh, is that a problem? Well, the way I always say it is it's still false intimacy. Self-sex is still, it's you in your head and with your imagined spouse. I've noticed that a lot of guys that do a lot of uh, self-sex do have more discontentment in their sexuality, in their real intimacy. And so, um, you know, I, I'm always on the side of, hey, really have a good schedule of sex with your spouse to the point where you're not needing to turn to some of these other prop ups or maybe short circuits. I think a lot of times, yeah. again, people turn to porn and self sex as a substitute for a real honest conversation. And so I'm always just trying to encourage people have that awkward conversation. And the more awkward conversations after a while, awkward becomes normal. And that's what's so beautiful, even about my relationship with my wife is, you know, you log enough awkward, it's no longer awkward to have those conversations anymore. Yeah, that's great. Peter, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.